The Omaha mayor has given a political jolt to so-called dreamers who hope to legally drive in Nebraska. Mayor Gene Stothert wrote a public letter this week to Nebraska senators urging them to pass a bill that would allow people who are brought to this country illegally to get a driver's license. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. And I'm Craig DeGrelli. Suddenly that bill has gained a lot of steam. It would apply to nearly 3,000 immigrant children who call Nebraska home. Reporter Kelly Bartnick has both sides of the issue tonight. Kelly. Craig, sponsors of the bill will tell you there was movement on it before Stothard's endorsement, but one day later, things look a whole lot better. There have been times where I have considered leaving the state out of frustration, but this is my home. The testimony brought Nebraska dreamers out by the hundreds in March. Maria Flores is very much Nebraskan, except her parents brought her here illegally as a minor. Nebraska is the only state that does not allow so-called dreamers like Flores to get a driver's license. LB 623 would change that. It received a big endorsement this week from Mayor Jean Stothert. She said, here in Omaha, we should make sure children of undocumented workers who are on a path to legal status have the tools they need to be productive members of our community. My understanding is that the Transportation Committee is going to hold an executive session on the bill in the next uh, couple days, and I'm very optimistic about uh, the outcome of that. Even though it's never made it out of committee before, Omaha Senator Jeremy Nordquist represents a largely Latino South Omaha population. He joins a bipartisan group of 25 legislators who support it. The issue affects 2,700 Nebraskans. About 1,000 live in Omaha. State interest groups have already signed on. Getting Nebraska in line with all the other states in the country is important. Not adopting policies that send you know, young, educated people to other states with their tax revenues is important. And it's just a matter of fairness. You know, potentially gives political cover to some uh, Republicans in Omaha who maybe were a, a little worried about voting for this. Nordquist believes there is enough support in the unicameral to pass the bill if it gets out of committee, saying the coalition has a veto-proof majority. Now, we should note that during the hearing in Lincoln, two people did speak out against giving the immigrant children driver's license. Reporting in the studio tonight, Kelly Bartnick, Action 3 News. UNO professor Paul Landau told us he was surprised to hear Mayor Stother publicly support the bill. This has been an issue that's been supported by Democrats and not so much by Republicans. I think when important Republicans like Mayor Stothard step up and take a positive position, it leads the way for other Republicans. So I think that Landau says Stothard has plenty of time to recover from any political backlash in taking this stance because her election is so far away. Matt